And we're also going to see a lamb with seven eyes. It's actually going to be a stone that has seven eyes on it, but we're going to, you'll see the connection there. Um, that I believe is symbolic of God's central intelligence agency, the central intelligence agency of heaven. I mean, if you think that uh, earthly central intelligence agencies uh, are great or they, they've, you know, they are able to gather uh, much information, um, God's central intelligence agency makes anything on this earth pale in comparison, even... In Satan's, uh, Satan's central intelligence agency um, in the spiritual and demonic realm. It, um, it's way better than that. Anyways, let's, get, let's go to really quick. Let's jump over to Revelation chapter 6 or Revelation chapter 5 and, and read a little bit more about these seven eyes. What do they mean? What is this all about? Well, Revelation chapter 5, 6 says, And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne and of the four beasts. And in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth. Now think about that. So these seven eyes and the seven horns, these seven powers, that God said we're watching over that stone, the building of the temple, the restoration of the nation, uh, the church today, if you would, or possibly even magnify that to America because it was the church really that formed America. I know we could people debate the, some of the do, founding documents and so forth, but nevertheless, um, it was based primarily off of uh, the, the thoughts and ideas of Christianity. Um, but this, I believe, these seven eyes symbolize God's central intelligence agency. He's the all-knowing, all-seeing. Remember when Jesus walked the earth and he could read people's minds? Remember he was talking to the woman at the well and he said, Oh yeah, um, you've had five husbands and you're living with a guy you're not even married to right now. And she said, How did you know that? Well, Jesus had, he was you know, he is the central intelligence agency. He's the lamb with, with uh, seven eyes and seven horns. He knows it all. And then, you know, he'd even tell Zachariah, I think the guy's name was Zacharias. He was up in the tree. And Jesus said, Zachariah, I've been watching you for a while. And Zacharias was like, well, how did you know? Because he knew. And then when, G when the scribes and Pharisees were um, attacking Jesus, he read their minds and exposed them. So guess what? Through the God's Holy Spirit, we can actually tap into that power. He plugs us in if we, if we gain knowledge from His Word and we're attuned to His Spirit. He can give us some of that intelligence, that higher intelligence, that intelligence that even... Uh, um, that that's above just worldly intelligence, but 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 is actually in the other uh, intelligence of the other uh, realm, the unseen realm, the spiritual realm, um, and, it, and it, it's beautiful. Um, so it's no wonder why God doesn't. There's no wonder why God wants pastors to give sermons and stories all day long rather than teaching His Word, because it cuts off. The lifeblood of that intelligence between God and his servants. This is the way God communicates with us. Through studying his word with the aid of the Holy Spirit. It's fascinating. You know, we are, we are God's soldiers on the ground. In fact, we're, we're sort of his eyes and ears, if you would, on the earth. You are a special agent. Man, if you thought this, if it would be really cool and exciting to be a CIA agent for America, and I'm not saying that America CIA is all bad. There are some very good people in there and there are some bad elements in there. But um, think about 
how much more powerful and exciting it is to be an agent of God's kingdom. I mean, we get the secrets that, that, uh, that, that nobody else can attain. In fact, I, I posted something about this uh, on Facebook uh, here. Um, let me uh, take a closer look at this here. I'm going to read it for you guys. Okay, God's Central Intelligence Agency. Lamb with the seven eyes. As Christians, we have access to the most sensitive secrets on earth. Secrets that even the most sophisticated intelligence agencies cannot attain. Not only do we have a book written in code, Matthew 13, 11, that can only be understood by those with eyes to see and ears to hear, we have an invisible spirit that stealthily communicates with us and moves us into places of strategic advantage against our enemies. So if you ever worry about the intelligence of our enemy, deep state, remember that God's intelligence agency is far superior. God has agents everywhere. The lamb has seven horns and seven eyes which are the seven spirits of God sent forth into all the earth, Revelation 5, 6. They see and know everything. We are always one step ahead of our enemies. All right? And we are. You know, if, you know, like these different intelligence agencies, doesn't matter which ones they are, which countries they are, they all have their coat of arms, their symbols. Well, if, if God's central, central Intelligence Agency would have a symbol, I would imagine it would be the lamb with the seven eyes and the seven horns. We could put God's central, all-knowing intelligence agency. And, um, and, and that would be kind of cool. Hey, I like looking at things like that. Makes it easier to understand. I hope you do as well. All right, verse 10. 